All right, let's do this. Oh. All right, so we're gonna get started here really quick. Tell me, tell me, I'll hold it. Are you kidding me? Let's have some class. No, let's not have some class. Have class. Since when have we ever had class? <laughs> Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melina and this is my fiance Matt. My fiance. Uh, if you follow me on any of the social medias, um, Instagram particularly, then you know that we got engaged like three weekends ago or so. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then that's pretty shitty of you and you probably should. So follow me at Melina Iverson. You can follow him too, but he probably won't even know that you're following him. So. Maybe you don't like want to. Enough, maybe. <laughs> this is really it's no point. Of my dog but you know, I just felt like he's a guest, so let's just <laughs> give it to him. Here's his handle. <laughs> um, funny story is it's actually Easter today, and it's probably about 4 p.m. and we're getting drunk. So, blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. We're going to hell for that, actually. Okay, today we're talking about online <laughs> dating and dating apps in specific because crazy I know but that's how we met so we wanted to make this video because before we got to this point actually we went through a lot of shit dates I mean it actually brings a lot of anxiety um, to me to even think about all the bullshit that I went through I know he's been through some bullshit too yeah but probably not as bad as you yeah um, anyways but we wanted to give you guys some pointers and tips so you can maneuver and navigate through the online dating world and so you don't act like a fucking psychopath and a crazy person, a and someone might actually want to date you. Uh, so naturally, uh, we are doing this while we drink wine. Like I've said before, I got a lot of information to share. Actually, we do. A lot of knowledge to drop, and we're gonna do it while we drink some wine, because wine the fuck not, right? All right, so let's talk about the wine that we're drinking first. Um, this is actually our favorite wine. Um, this is called Formation. Uh, we actually tried it for the first time at Bailey's Chocolate Bar in St. Louis. Paid mm, $7 a glass. No, no it's $9 11. a glass. 11. What? 11. You sure about that? 11. I'm dead sure because I wanted to die. I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this, but whatever. Um, anyways, this bottle is like $13 a bottle. Honestly, though, I would pay $11 again if I was out drink or if I was out to dinner just because it's that good. This is our literally number one favorite bottle of wine right now. It's a Pinot Noir, hence why I'm drinking it out of my Pinot Noir glass. If you watched my last video, then you would have known that I got these at Amazon and they're super cheap. I'll link to it down below so you can find these glasses. $14 wine. there's a lot of reasons to online date and a lot of it is just because either you're busy or for me I started online dating because I moved to St. Louis I didn't know anybody besides my sister and Yvonne and I wanted a way to kind of meet and connect with people other than through friends yeah so I didn't have a lot of friends so that was kind of my way to meet people but um, it's weird to call it online dating because most people are doing apps nowadays Bumble and Tinder and whatnot and that's how we met is through an app Tinder like I said before it's still online dating though but it, I guess you're right social needs, whatever. All right, tell us uh, how, why you were online dating. Um, so Sorry. I started online dating, one, because uh, I was kind of behind the curve as far as all my friends go. I got out of the Marine Corps and I was a little bit older and they were all married and had kids already. Mm. Um, I mm -hmm. started my job as a police officer, so I was working shift work. I was working midnights, evenings. Uh, I was working during the weekend, so I didn't have the time to go out and meet people. So I thought, even though I was actually very against it and all my friends told me for a long time to, you went fishing. to, to do it, to get on it, I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm not going to do it. Finally, I was like, all right, screw it. I'm sick of going to all these couple parties and I'm the only single one there. And Same. Here we are now. Actually, I don't even really know that I actually went to any couple parties. <laughs> I just felt like I was super single. But yeah, here we are. Okay, let's get into the actual profile. So you've decided to join an app, Bumble, Tinder. I think the kids are doing Bumble nowadays. I think that's the cool thing. Do you know? Yeah, I don't know. I think that's what a lot of people are doing. Tinder yeah. always has a bad rap. It's just it like does. a it does. hookup it does. app. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> it does, it is. But, I mean, you can normally filter through those people pretty quickly. You can. And, and you can just put on your profile, like, not looking just to hook up. So let's start with the picture. All right, this is very important because this is what's going to 
<clears throat> catch someone's eye. But there are some guidelines to follow and you'd think it was, you know, common sense and second nature to people of what to be doing, but no, you'd, you'd be very surprised. I mean, you probably know. But um, first and foremost, be sure to add a full body picture. Yes. Recent. <laughs> Recent. Recent full body picture. Not, um, not within your the last, weights. Yeah, I would say within the last six months, you should have a recent picture, okay? And if you don't, ask someone to take a picture of you, and there needs to be at least one full body picture because I'm not, we're not being shallow here. It sounds shallow, but it's not. It, I've been it's on not, dates but where, you need to be very, yeah. Yeah, I went on dates where the person, you know, I showed up and it was clear, that, very clear that those pictures were taken probably a couple of years ago and they looked nothing like, right. I almost didn't recognize them when they showed up. Same, same. Now, if that happens to you, before. if that happens to you, don't be a dick and just end the date and walk away. Yeah, you no, can meet don't. somebody you gotta, cool, you meet somebody new, it. you guys might be friends, who knows. Even stick though they lied it. to you, you're yeah. a goddamn liar. <laughs> you're a liar if you're gonna do that shit to people and it's not cool. But just stick it out yeah. and just be nice and cordial. Just, there's someone for everyone to show Work with what you got, you know, be you. Someone's gonna love you for you and don't try to hide it because they're gonna see you in person and then it's gonna be even more embarrassing. So full body picture, not just here up, not just like half your forehead when you've got a six head, like give it to us. Like we're minimal, really minimal group pictures. That, okay, so yeah, on to the next one. Make sure you have pictures of just you too. I made the mistake a couple of times of swiping, what is it, right, left, whatever saying yes to somebody that I thought I knew was the right person in the group picture, <laughs> not the case. And honestly, one or two, one or two group it, pictures is okay. It's a red flag if they only have group pictures. Yeah. That's a red flag. But, but guys are kind of stupid. If you don't have group pictures, I mean, at least that shows that people like you and you have friends. <laughs> True. Okay, add one group picture. <laughs> uh, this is just for the guys. Don't put you and a girl in a picture, okay? I don't care if she's your sister. I don't care if she's your best friend. I don't care if she's your home girl. You look like a tool. <laughs> that doesn't make girls go, oh, other girls might must like him, so I should like him. No, it makes me go swipe left, goodbye. Like, no girls, don't put girls. You didn't have girls. No, yeah. I don't even think you had group pictures. No. Nope. You could have been a fucking sociopath for all I knew, but hey, here we are. <laughs> Okay, next thing is, um, I guess I haven't been on, obviously, in a long time, but when I was on... I <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> you can link to your social media, and I'm sure you, it didn't unhappen since I've been on, but when I was on Tinder, you could, you know, swipe through, but if they linked to their social media, if you scrolled down a little more, you could legitimately uh, creep through their whole Instagram. Always link to your Instagram, or at least personal preference I think you should because I think someone I think you're allowed to see more than four or five pictures of a person before you're gonna make that decision yeah and, and if you're not linked or if you don't want to link it out there for anybody that sees your profile if you're having a good conversation with somebody and want to like maybe exchange phone numbers or something get permission to add them on Facebook or Instagram or whatever because that can tell you a lot about the person that you don't really know just from your conversation those couple of pictures so you want to kind of find out a little bit more before you even take it to that next step. Can you imagine if they're one of those psychopaths that are posting <clears throat> constantly about, you know, political things and like Trump and all of the things? Oh, Jesus Christ. And that'll tell you. Mm -hmm. That'll tell you. And that's not the, that's not something that you learn in a first date. So you can save or yourself a lot play, of time. They still play Farmville, Candy Crush. <laughs> oh, that's an instant no. <laughs> that's an instant absolutely not. Thank you. No app games. No. Oh Jesus, and if you're doing app games, this is a public service announcement right now, shut that shit down. Shut it down. There's no time in life for that. So guys, the key to this whole thing, if you want to even get into a good conversation with a pretty girl, the future love of your life, is you gotta have a good opener. Don't just say hey, don't say some creepy sexual shit. You gotta be funny, it's not always, I mean, I guess you don't have to be funny. Just stick to your personality, no, do something no. along the lines. You can even, honestly, just be clever. Can, right. Just be clever. Don't, oh. I mean, yeah, you can be clever, but you really, even and if, original. even if you, but honestly, if you were to just said like, what did you say to me? What was that? I had some like stupid, cheesy joke pickup line. It was line cute though. That, Fuck, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like a, like a typical one that everybody had heard. It was like no. an original But one. even if you just say, hey, what's up? Or hey, how's it going? Or whatever. Like that is totally fine. 
Hey, will you please sit on my face? We're not going anywhere after that. Absolutely not. Hey, sexy. That's not cool yeah, that's either. Right. That's really cool, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Even like, uh, hey, hot stuff. First of all, are you 45? Because don't ever say hot stuff again. Um, even hi, beautiful, I guess that's not really anything mm -hmm. I'm about either. I feel like if you're just saying hi, that's kind of like, I mean, you should have in your profile something good enough to get to know you a little bit. Right. Just to where that might be an icebreaker to mention something that they talk about or something yeah. in their pictures. Just find something original. Don't just say hi. Don't say some creepy shit. Be a normal human being. <clears throat> Don't act like a murderer. The okay. cheesy, corny pickup lines that I personally find hilarious because I love like dad jokes. I was gonna say he's stuff. a he's a it, real. It, <laughs> it doesn't always real work. Real dad jokes. It actually are great, it, it went over that. well a lot, but the ones that a didn't lot. respond. <laughs> well, I mean, I, it didn't go anywhere from there. But I'm just kidding. the ones that didn't respond positively to it, like I honestly don't want to have a conversation with those right. types of people. Right. Well, yeah, like, you can find really, out really quick if you're gonna be right for this person by the way they approach you or by the way your reaction is to them and if they like you or not, just because, I mean, you'll figure out if you're and ladies, or not. And ladies, don't be afraid to be the first one to, to do an icebreaker. I, I mean, that's Why is the pressure that's always, Bumble. I know. That's how Bumble works. But still, and a lot of times, and I was on Bumble for a little bit too, and the oh, ladies would just do like the hey, the one one word opening. Hey yeah. is so, an hey. Okay, so once you get through the opener, um, the initial conversation is very important. And if you literally are coming at me with, hey, how are you? How's your day? Whatever. I mean, I, gu I guess you can start off with that, but. If it doesn't progress at a certain point. And go into the conversation looking for conversation. Mm -hmm. Go into the conversation trying to get to know the other person. If it's just like your standard, what's up? How's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Like, that's not gonna go anywhere. And if you're getting that response to you, ladies or even guys, mm -hmm. if someone's responding like that to you, yeah, that's a that. red flag because it. that looks like they're not trying to get to know you, they're just trying to fuck you. And if that's what you're there for, then hey, bottoms up, cheers to you. But Or from the guys that's, that's not what some, we're here. Some girls just it's you know, you try to start conversations and you say you ask conversation starting questions and you get one word responses or small responses. Yeah, don't try to act you gotta like keep the conversation don't try to get going. them to chase you. That's you not the point the of an app. Going. Yeah, I wouldn't waste my time with people like no, that. Like, no, 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 no. That's not the point of an app. Stop being a yeah. bitch. Okay, sorry, that was real serious. <laughs> and if the conversation's not there, if it's not good, like I said earlier, don't progress it from there. Don't There's go no on point. a date. Don't start Life a date. I made short. that mistake a few times. Move on. You think that, you know, maybe they're just talk or not talkative on, you know, text messages or an app and they mm -hmm. might be a little bit different in person. Yeah, you always think maybe they're just I've, shy. I've done that. Time. I've done that once or twice and it, it didn't work too well. It was a very uncomfortable, like hour, hour and a half long date where nobody's really, you know, they're yeah. just not talking. You're trying to get them to oh, talk Jesus. and they just don't want to talk. so painful. It's very uncomfortable. Oh, gee. So another tip with that is don't just waste time for days and days and days texting or messaging back and forth. If the conversation's good, set up a date. You know, set up a date ASAP. So, as soon as possible. The date doesn't have to be within those couple of days, but at least like lock it in. Mm -hmm. Set guys ask, you know, mm -hmm. you wanna go get dinner, you wanna go get coffee. Ask them what they're comfortable with. You can waste so much less time mm -hmm. if you just knock the date out right away. Gunner, Excuse can you me. relax a little bit? <laughs> Alright, so once you swipe right or whatever, you you say yes to whoever it is on Bumble, whatever, you find someone that you actually are attracted to. Uh, the conversation is going well and you decide to set up a date. Let's talk about the date now. Okay, so first and foremost, my number one tip is to meet in public. Do not, do not meet at a house. And there are a few reasons for that. And guys, do not, if you're not, if you're actually looking for a relationship and not just looking to hook up, don't ask them. To look up? Or look up? <laughs> Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say, a, I was gonna say another one, wine. but I decided not fuck? to. Fuck? Is that the word you're trying to say? You can say fuck. Okay. If you're not just trying to fuck, then don't ask them to come to your house. Don't ask them to come to a, like a party with your friends or something like that. Because even though you have. How old are we? If you have good Sorry. intentions, don't throw them off by asking them shit like that that's gonna right. freak them out. Just be normal. Right. Even if you are 21, even if you are 18. If you are really watching this and you are actually trying to find the love of your life, don't meet at home. Don't meet, even if, just go for ice cream if you can't afford it. Like just 
Meet at a park. Like, go to, go for a walk. Parks are good. Like, there's cheap ways to do it. You don't have to take her out to a fucking five-star meal. Honestly, if he took me to a five-star meal, I would have been shitting my pants. You that want to be very, very casual. Do something casual. very casual where you're both going to be comfortable because right. this is your one chance to make a good impression and exactly. get, be comfortable with each other and get a feel for how this person is mm -hmm. or if it's going to progress anymore from this point. Right. And here's the thing. There's really, there's really two reasons why you don't mm -hmm. want to meet at a house. One, you don't want to get murdered. Let's not do that. We, we want to come back alive. We want to be able to tell the story, even if it's a shit story, which I have a lot of, but I've been able to tell all of them because I came back alive, because I met in public. Two, if you are very attracted to this person, you do not want to be tempted to sleep with them on the first date because let me tell you what, you might not be able to control yourself. You know, a few wines or two and then one thing leads to another and then he won't take you seriously later. That's True. just the reality of it, people. I'm not the one who makes the rules. I'm not the one that's saying the rules are right. But, which brings us to our next point, don't get wasted. Uh, don't get wasted on your first date and don't get wasted on your second date. If you guys are actually feeling each other or whatever, obviously you guys can get fucked up and do your thing on the third date. Third date, honestly, I have a th I think the three date rule is pretty legit. Um, I'm no master, but hey, I'm getting married, bitches, so it clearly worked for me. <laughs> Another thing is, don't talk about your poor spending habits. You're trying to impress me. So don't talk about the fact that you can't control what you spend. I literally, I've, I went on a date with a guy who talked about how much he spent on things that didn't matter, like his, his toys and the fact that he lived at home because he liked to spend money. And I think he was trying to impress me because he had like motorcycles and this big truck and like whatever. But in reality, he lived at home with his parents. And I'm not dissing people that live at home with your parents, okay? Some if you're people doing have that, legitimate reasons, like if you're right. trying to go and to if school you're trying or to a job or save up like or whatever. But if you're literally you're making money so and spending it all on life. bullshit things, that's not you impressing some, you me. Some issues. Right. Don't fucking do that. Lie. Just kidding. Don't lie. <laughs> no, don't lie. Be <laughs> don't honest. Lie. I'm sorry. Be honest. I'm sorry, but it's stupid. Like, why would you think that that's okay? Like, he's literally sitting there telling me about the things that he's bought and he can't pay his own rent. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> he's pissed. The next thing is going to be very controversial, but I don't give a shit. Okay? I really don't. Uh, ladies, let the man buy. Uh, you can tell a lot about somebody depending on if they're going to buy or not. I know that's... Maybe that's old fashioned and maybe that's not, you know what, fuck it. I don't care about gender roles, gender specific for this. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of other things and blah, blah, blah. But what I'm telling you is for this, the guy should pay. I'm sorry, that's just what it should be. I agree with that. But this is what I used to do. You can test them. And when the bill comes, grab your wallet and say, do you want me to pay half? And then depending on what he says, yeah. depends on Do if he's an say, actual man. Even if they insist, they're like, no, let's split it. Just don't let them. You know, just just, just do it. Just pay don't for it. Don't let them. Don't let them. And if you're cheap ass or you don't got a lot of money, don't go then to you should, place. Right, then you, if you don't have the money to go out to dinner, pick something. Go somewhere else. Go for ice money. cream. And that's, you could spend, what, tops of 10, 20 bucks? But still pay. Guys. And if you still don't have enough money for that, that's fine. Let's go to a park. Like I said, let's go for a walk. Let's just hang out somewhere and just talk. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to go spend a bunch of money, but, but if you're planning on going to somewhere, if you're planning on going to a place to have dinner, plan to pay because it's just kind of everything that encompasses around it. And if you don't agree with it, then shut this shit off. Last but not least, when it comes to the online dating, please choose your time and your location very wisely. Um, do not ask to go mini golfing in the middle of September at 3 p.m. when it's sunny as fuck outside, okay? Plus, that's just a horrible choice for a first date. I mean, you're not very comfortable with it, unless you're just one of those types of people, or you're both those types of people that are just very comfortable with new people and don't really give a shit. Right, Gunner? <laughs> um, you know, that's just, because you're gonna feel awkward, you're not gonna know what to do with your hands. I mean, honestly, <laughs> honestly, mini golfing isn't that, I, I don't think it's choice. a that terrible choice. Of, I actually really like to mini golf. 
You guys, just bear with us. There's nothing we can do about this. We're not gonna lock him in a room, okay? We're Normally dog when she's filming, I'm upstairs right. keeping Gunner entertained. And, but we're not gonna make him stay by himself. You know, eventually one day we'll have a filming room and things will be fine. But right now, we're Gunner just gonna have to deal with it. Right. <laughs> I don't think that mini golfing is a bad choice. He might, but I don't. Um, when it's the middle of September in St. Louis and it's a upwards of 100 degrees outside and it's like 3 p.m. and the sun is beaming down on you, then yes, I have an issue with mini golfing. I, <laughs> everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. And one more thing that isn't super like well known to people and like when they think of a date they think, oh, let's go to a movie. Which I get it, like that's just what people do, that, that's what they think of doing, but going to a movie on a first date is not a good idea. No. It's extremely awkward sitting next to essentially a stranger mm -hmm. uh, that you don't know and without talking and you guys are you're just supposed to pay to attention know, to The them. whole purpose of right. first date is to get to know that person. Right, better. you're not going to get to know them You may feel like you all. know them. You might have been texting for a week before you went on this first date. You don't know really shit about them. them. Through so text, you, you don't know shit about them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't really know how they're going to yeah, act with you in real life. And so a movie is just a bad idea. And like I've been on first dates at a movie and like for me, I feel like my shoulders are up to here. I'm just sitting like this and I just feel so weird. Like it's just like- I don't agree with that. And ladies like- I, Cause you, I was stupid. I went if to, they're I went to making Canadian. bad choices, guys, we're not that smart a lot of times. That is true. That doesn't mean we're bad people or we're gonna make a bad partner. But yeah, let's let's make a whole disclaimer if, if here right now. If they make a bad suggestion for a first date, then correct Men them. are- Idiots. <laughs> it really, it really is, and they, you know, they're trying so hard. There's a lot of doing, pressure on us in the it dating is, world. It is, it is, it is. You know, I sit here and I'm, I'm an asshole, and I sit here and I'm like, you gotta pay, you gotta pick, you gotta do this, you gotta do this. It's a lot of pressure. But as women, as ladies, you can kind of give your opinion and kind of nudge them to the right ways. So after the date's over, whether or not it went well or it didn't go that good. I mean, even if it didn't go bad, you're just not feeling it. I think it's appropriate to send like a follow-up text. Wait, if it went well, don't like as soon as you get in your car, text them and say how, how great of a time you had. Wait until you get home, send them a text, say, hey, I had a really good time, something along those lines. You know, I'd really like I mean, to I don't see think you, you have again. To wait, like super long. No, just wait until you, at least you get home. It's like yeah. a half hour. Like you, you both know you yeah. probably saw each other get into your cars. Yeah, you're right. Just give it till yeah, the time right. that it takes you to get home. Say, hey, I just got home. Um, oh, you're right. Okay, yeah. I like that. I had a great time. I want to see you again. Mm -hmm. You know, even if it didn't go that good and you don't want to see the person again, but just be nice and send a follow. -up. Like say, hey, it was great. It was great to meet you. And and that's another thing. If it didn't go well, don't. Drag the, don't drag it on. They might have thought it went well. They might be into you, but if you're not into them, be upfront and honest. Don't be afraid to. Like, don't be to a cut dick and be just like, hey, I'm, no, no, I don't no, really no, never like be you. a dick. Like, hey, I just wasn't really feeling it, you know. Like, I always say thank you. Say. Say it was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you. You know, I was. I was Unless, always like, I think that you're a great person, but I think that we just didn't connect on that level. And I, you know what I mean? Like something that along happens. those lines. Exactly. Connect. Like it's okay. Right. And if you're on the receiving end of that, don't take it personally. Like right. be thankful to them for being honest with you and not wasting your time. But be very upfront. And here's the thing. It will save you so much stress if you just cut it off right then and you just shut it down then. Because at least for me, I know when I was younger and I didn't understand that cutting it off was like the best way to go about things and I just I didn't want to hurt people's feelings but in reality it's you're gonna make things worse if you don't do it right away but anyway so I would let it drag on for too long and instead it would give me anxiety I'd get stressed I'd see the name pop up on my phone and I'm like fuck how do I respond to this person just don't, cut it off don't be the person that's like still responds but just very low-key right and like doesn't you're like, playing with them, them. Like, don't play with people's emotions don't not, do that you're not doing them any favors you're not no. doing yourself just any cut favors. It off. you're gonna stress yourself out and cut you're gonna make off. them feel like shit mm -hmm. so so that being said with all this if the date went well if you've agreed to meet again or go on another date you're not in a relationship at this point so still keep it very casual until you've been on a couple dates <laughs> you're not you're not connected to this person mm -hmm. any way other than you're trying to get to know them more. Mm -hmm. I've had some some dates where they went well initially. The girl seemed cool. She seemed fun. And one particular case where she got a little crazy on me. <laughs> this girl sent me a couple text messages when I was working. 
I didn't have the chance to look at my phone. I was, it was an extremely busy night. Long story short, a couple hours went by. I hadn't responded to her text. I hadn't seen her text. I didn't know that she had texted me. It was just one of those nights. Next thing I know, I get one of those, you gotta scroll through the entire paragraph of what's being said and how I'm a dick and leading her on and ghosting her and blah, 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 and everything else. She's crazy. And, and lastly, if it's not working out, if they're saying, hey, I'm not feeling it, I'm not connected to you, when it's over, it's whether or not, over. Whether or not it's when you first are talking on Tinder or if you had After a even dates. gone on a date yet, if you haven't gone on a date yet, and things aren't working out well, and it's, so they say that it's not working out well. The instant the other person says it's done, it's done. There's no bartering. Don't try to like, but what if, but what if, like, if it's over, it's over. Just like, let it go. It, it's, don't it causes, don't try force it. No, it's not don't gonna work. force it. That's and it causes so much stress. That's the great thing about dating apps and all right. that is that you have a lot of options available to you and you can say, you can, be very direct about what you want. You don't have to try to force something mm -hmm. because the, because you have limited options. Right. You don't have them. You have a lot of options. You have all the options. You have all the fucking swipes in the world. Mm -hmm. All of them. And they're right at your fingertips. You don't even have to leave your house. I think what to gather from all this, because we know everybody's different. Everybody has a different type of life. Everybody has different types of personalities. These are just the things that we've experienced and have worked or have not worked for us. But right, we're not 100% right in all of this. The biggest thing that you can do to help yourself out with this is be honest, be upfront, be yourself, don't fuck around, be smart about your decisions. Right. You Think. Know. Give it a little thought. Figure figure out this person before you go on a date with them. Don't go on a date with somebody just because you're trying to get as many dates on your you're just wasting your time. And it's gonna or be because someone tells you you should. Yeah. Honestly, uh, it can work. It really can work. And I feel like online dating gets such a bad rap. It does. Because of, you know, people just trying to hook up. And there's like, there are the perverts. There are. And, and there are the weirdos. There's a lot of success stories out there. But there Tinder. also is like, a Tinder lot of success stories. Tinder is the one that gets the, bad, the worst rap. Worst rap. We met on Tinder. But we We're know, I know now. a few people also that met on Tinder. Okay, so that's it. That kind of wraps everything up. That's all of our tips that we have for online dating. I hope you guys found it at least somewhat beneficial i hope you can take that with you trying to and if you have other tips or tricks or anything right. advice put in the comments comment below because you know we don't know everything this is just our experience this is just from our experience yeah um anyways thank you so much for watching well subscribe not only subscribe but please hit the bell because that will give you notifications every time i post a new video follow me on instagram follow me on snapchat on twitter all my social meds i got them right here uh please follow and thanks babe Thanks for being with us. <laughs> what? I'm going ah! to Should we cheers in every clip after every clip? Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. There to be there to be cheap. To save money for no reason if you can afford it. Like fuck you. <laughs> We've got two of them. Wait, this isn't our first rodeo, okay? What was that? I did it. Gunner knows. He feels it. Yeah, now Gunner's got a new mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. I was like, what do you mean new mom? You guys haven't met Gunner. Gunner has his son. only mom. This is our dude. This is your like son. baby. <laughs>